Welcome back, everybody. Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and it is Horde Night Day, Day 28. Uh, so, I have some very good news uh, for you guys. I was out and about last night uh, salvaging cars for gas and doing uh, just some random looting on some of the smaller houses. And I found the magazine for the seven six uh, Armor Piercing 762. Which is cool, but what was really cool is I found this. So yeah, baby, we now have a crucible. Uh, I was just thrilled to find it. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, and so I've got uh, steel cooking up in here. Um, and we are now into the steel age, and it's just amazing that we found that. Um, okay, so the plan for today is to get the horde base ready, of course. Um, so let's just grab the steel that we currently have. And I've got a mess of concrete as well. Um, I guess we have some steel up here, too. We might as well grab that. Let's grab the iron. And, yeah, and then we'll go back. Do I have anything going on in here? Uh, I made a couple more AP rounds. Okay. Um, so let's go up here. And looks like I already did the dew collectors. Uh, look at all the concrete we have. So I've been just making that like crazy. So let's grab all of that. We'll grab a little bit of cobblestone too. And um, I think that's probably all we need at the moment. So do I have any food going on in here? No. Okay. Uh, we, we want to save that for uh, for when we do buy something from the trader. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Let's um, head on over and get everything repaired at the Horde base. Uh, so if you didn't see uh, or hear me uh, mention this in, in previous episodes, we're gonna we're gonna redo uh, reuse the same base as before. Because uh, it actually works quite well. Um, but we, we just have to reinforce the base, the, you know, the place that we stand um, with more blocks. So my plan is, you know, instead of having just, uh, like, you know, single blocks, we're going to have multiple blocks in that spot. And the core of it, at least, is, is going to be steel. In fact, we have enough steel that we might be able to do more than that. But let's just, uh, let's just do the core for starters and we'll kind of see where we are because I'd like to I'd like to utilize a little more steel um, uh, up in our little um, compartment too so let's just kind of clean all this crap up out of here okay and then we'll jump up here get all of this out of here and uh, they really did a number on on this stuff why don't we upgrade that to steel? And I'm just going to repair these corner blocks here. They're not critical, but we want them to, you know, to still be in, in reasonably good shape. I don't think think we need to worry about replacing that block so you know there's a little bit of splash damage and stuff here but nothing too major um i'll get all that stuff fixed up too but what i want to do here is if we Let's, let's remove this. I mean, uh, hmm. yeah. Uh, no, that's going to collapse that whole thing if we do that, isn't it? All right. Can we put a temporary support for it? Uh, it may, that might work. If it, Well, you know, if it collapses, it is just that one column. I think this will work, though.
Man, this is... It's got some weird stuff going on here. Okay, so... We need to... Uh, yeah, we actually need to start with cobble blocks. Because we can't... I don't think we can make concrete blocks straight up. Oh, we can. Never mind. Never mind. Um... If we if we make them out of cobble first, I think we'll get a little more XP by upgrading them though. So why don't we do it? Oh, that's not very much cobblestone though. So well, we'll just we'll do it for these first ten, and then after that, uh, it won't matter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make. That block steel and that block steel. Um, in particular, because those are the ones that are the most likely to get hit on. And I think I think we should be able to take this block out too. Uh, because this section's still got support. Oh, you know what though? Alright, here, let's do this. Let's put that block there. We'll just put those blocks in here just as a temporary support because this is actually supporting a lot of this stuff over here. Okay, so let's get this out of here. I know I don't need to this, like I said, but I just don't like stuff floating in there. Just let it rubs my fur the wrong way. <laughs> So let's get rid of this. Okay. And then we'll put you in there. And upgrade you to steel. And you to steel. And... You know what? I'm going to do these two. Just, just for good measure. Okay. Good. Now, um... Let's just make that steel too. This actually could work a little bit because it's an it's another stop where they have to stop and then jump. Makes a very little minor difference, but a a bit of a difference. Really, you saw me, dear? Well, you didn't run far enough. Uh. Oh, really? Seriously? Line up the shot. There you go. I was just getting in too much of a hurry. You know, something occurred to me. I was actually, I was thinking about this the other day. I don't think I've seen a single buck deer in this game in Alpha 21. They're all doe. I don't, I don't remember seeing a, a buck at all. <laughs> so I think that's kind of weird. I don't know what's up with that, but... Um, all right, you know what we could do here to provide more support for this is we could, where'd, uh, oh, yeah, right here. Why don't we do this? And again, we'll put... Uh, I'm just, I'm trying to think here for a second. Uh, yeah, let's put these here as temporary supports and we'll, we'll remove this block and put a solid block there too. Just, just for a little extra support on this thing. Okay, I'm just going to make those concrete. We don't need to upgrade those to to steel. That's probably explosion damage there that we're looking at. Yeah, this is all in pretty good shape over here. Okay, cool. Okay, this is actually a main support, so let's at least... 
touch the concrete up on it, as is this. You know what? Why don't we... Why don't we play it safe and do the the bottom three on these? Because, you know, we, we have lots of steel. Um, well, I'm going to have to go back and get more, but... Yeah. Okay. Excellent. All right. Now, let's get back up here. And... Just touch this uh, concrete up on these. These are all in pretty good shape. Most of that damage is explosion damage. That's the block we just put in to reinforce all of that. Um, yeah, they don't really hit over here too much anyway, so this I don't care about. That doesn't matter. All right, now we want to come back further here. But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to, rather than have like another column, uh, I think we're going to, I'm going to run these all the way across. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I've got a few blocks to break. So let's get these, this done first. Oh, we have a point to spin too. All right. So let's go to agility. Um, I think we'll get archery maxed out. Say, so, hey, look at that. We're a ranger. How about that? All right. 50% more damage with bows. 50% faster. Aim, draw, and reload. Find more bows and parts and loot. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do? We should uh, upgrade this to a steel vault door, too. Um, we'll try and get that done before the Horde Knight starts. Okay, so while we're waiting for more concrete blocks... Uh, to craft. Um, let's do some more repairing up here. This is all very minimally damaged for the most part. And what is here is mostly from explosions. They do seem to like to hit on that block, though. Okay, I don't care about that. Um, yeah, actually, I don't know why I'm repairing that. That doesn't matter. Uh, I want to make sure this ladder is in good shape. Those blocks should be in good shape. Um, <clears throat> this ladder is in good shape. That's needs just a little touch up there. That's a that needs scrap. All right, let's get some scrap really quick. Thought I brought some with me, but apparently not. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I should upgrade those blocks, all of those blocks to concrete. We'll see how we'll see how they <clears throat> excuse me fare uh, tonight, and uh, then assess after that. That's all in pretty good shape. Oh, that needs some attention. I wouldn't mind if some of these blocks were broken out too. But I don't, I, I don't know if that would screw up their pathing is the only thing. It might. So it's probably best for them to all just stay intact. It's all pretty min minimal damage along there. This shouldn't, shouldn't mess up their pathing. But you know what? Let's, again... Let's just fix it, just to be on the safe side. Okay. That's good. Really interesting, some of the blocks they, they focus on. It's like, well, okay, why that block in particular? <clears throat> okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change these over to plate blocks. Um, 
Let's see. We were using... We should be able to just use normal plates because they're all the same strength. It doesn't matter. So... Okay, and then we want an on face. All right, so, so Zulu Tango, oh, I see it, okay. So it's right that direction that we are pointing. And I'm gonna guess that it's probably right about here-ish. I think that'll be close enough to where we should be able to find it. Uh, but I'm not going after that right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build this wall, wall up. I think that block is interfering there. So let's go down one. Okay, good. Now let's do a copy rotation. Um, I was just thinking about something. Right, okay. No, we'll put this here. Copy rotation. Okay, so here we had a U block, which I think worked out pretty well, uh, which is the double pull top or the horseshoe block or what do you want to call it? That works really well. And of course, we want that to be steel. In fact, we want everything in front here to be steel. And, oh, okay, I got more steel cooking back up at the place, so. And, and I want to go back there anyways and get, uh, and make a steel vault. I don't think this needs to be steel, the door. Um, at least not for this horde. Okay. So, let's make um, a door, and again, this can be an iron door uh, for in here. Now, in the other base, I just had frames, and I liked the frames because you could shoot through them, but they also kept the vultures up a block higher above our head so they couldn't, they couldn't hit us. Like they would be able to, uh, if we just put the bars down by our head. On the other hand, though, we could also crouch, though, too. Yeah. Okay, let me think about this. We're going to need... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we're going to need some side supports. One, two, three, four, probably. So I think we need nine more, uh, nine blocks, concrete blocks in total. But let's just make a total of, uh, of ten. And we'll see where that puts us. Okay, so we're going to make these guys. Uh, we're going to go to here. And uh, these doubles here. I think the, these are the ones we want. 
because their only purpose is just to hold up the um the uh grates that we're going to put up there okay so let's do a advanced rotation let's put that there and those there I think we can also do that one there and still put the door in. I think. If not, we'll take it back out. Right. Okay. So the door's there. We can jump out here and then jump back in here as needed. <clears throat> Okay. So all my doodles can jump up there. Since this is kind of a fallback for us, I should probably either... Well, we should probably build up another wall along, along here. But I'm not going to do that right at the moment. Um, if we have time, maybe we'll do that later. Okay, so jump up here. I just think it has a, a cleaner look if we if we do bars. Yeah, let's just do bars. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think that that'll work good. All right. So the, there's two more things I want to do. I want to upgrade some more steel, more of that down there to steel. And I think we need to, we need to put a wall along the edge of this to keep the, because if we do have to fall back to here again, like we did last time, if, but I don't think this is going to collapse. I think this is going to hold. Um, but, you know, you never know what's going to actually happen, right? So... If we fall back to this location, we've got to keep them from coming up uh, onto here. So why don't we... How many blocks am I going to need to do this? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17, I think. Okay, let's just make another 20. All right, so while that's going on, um, while that's going up, I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to make a vault hatch for our hatch there and, and upgrade that to, to that. Um, I'm going to get all the stuff we need for Horde Knight, um, all the ammo, the pipe bombs, everything we need, and then come back here and we'll probably just hang out here until the actual horde night is ready so i'll see you guys back here in just a little bit all right guys we are back at the base here let's get it um i only have 271 steel um so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit these blocks for sure because they're the ones that are the most likely to get hit. Those blocks up there shouldn't get hit at all, with maybe the exception of cop spit, but the con concrete can handle the cop spit. Just kind of touching those up a little more. Yeah, they're, they're not going to bring this down. There's no way. Well, I shouldn't say no way, but it's so unlikely. Um, I would be seriously surprised, put it that way. Okay, now let's um let's come up here and grab these blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're going to So this will keep them from you know jumping from there up to here if we have to fall back to this location. At least that's the theory. Um, we are going to need, let's put that there, maybe those there. 
Okay, let's, uh, we've got the steel vault in here, so let's get that upgraded. Ooh, that's cool looking. Sure takes a long time for that to, to get back up. Okay, I think we are in business here. Um, I did have like a little drop chest down here, but that got ruined, so... Okay, there, we'll put the chest there. So, you know, this is not intended to hold the horde at bay for an entire night, but, it, you know, it's just a fallback for us. I mean, I mostly have 7.62 ammo in here. Um, I need to, I need to make a bunch of 9 mils. I actually have gunpowder and brass, it's the, I, get, I need lead is what I, oh, I forgot, we got junky. Um, where is Junkie going to be the most effective? We're going to put it up here. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to work so well. Well, let's just leave it there and see, see what happens. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's see. We got one big first aid kit, but I got some little ones. We got our lucky looter glasses on. Or, not, sorry, not our luckies. We, or, um, the other ones. The nerdies uh, for XP. Uh, we are about a quarter of the way into this next level, too. So, I think we're as about as prepared as we can be. We're going to use pipe bombs a fair amount tonight um two and i do have one atom junkies and one recog on me so let's see how things go tonight all right guys it is time for horde night 28 hopefully things will go a little better for us tonight than oh uh, yeah we had that big old freeze there for a second all the zombos spawned in I uh, hope this will go a little bit better tonight than it did, and I want that steel too, uh, on 21. <laughs> we'll see. Why don't we make that steel as well? I still have 171 left yet. Yeah. Okay. Here they come. So like we did before, I think we'll start the evening off with the shotgun, and then... We'll probably switch actually to the 7.62 ammo because I have so much more of that than I do the 9 mil. They're beating on stuff down there. I mean, they they theoretically could still take this down. I I shouldn't uh, say they can't, they can't or won't. I don't think they will, but they could. You know, so if they do, then we do have our fallback. But hopefully there's not a whole lot of time left you know if and when we do have to use that feral oh man he has a long reach goodness gracious he thumped us good i love the duck bill man because it's just it's got that wide spread, and it's really good for hitting multiple heads at once. <laughs> Climbed up on each other. See, they might not have been able to do that so easy if I would have put frames back up there, but it's not like they can get to us, though, either. There's a lot of hitting going on down there. Knock it off, copper.
All right. I'm gonna, um, let's open this up. How the hell did she get up there? All right, let's do a quick check. Yeah, that needs some attention for sure. That thing's got 21,000 hit points. My goodness. Didn't they used to just have 7,000? Oh, no, I guess if you fully upgraded them, they were 21,000. Okay. Anything else looking reasonably well here? I think so. Off with your head. We'll eventually put some more points into shotguns, too. But I think we want to focus on intellect next and Grease Monkey in particular after we get agility completely maxed out. Uh, because I need to be able to make gasoline. And we want to get those those nicer vehicles that we got with the, the mod that we have for that. Alright, this needs to be repaired. Let's take one of these. And I want to check the... Uh, Check over here. Okay, I think we're doing okay. See, that's hitting me through the, the wall. It's not doing major damage, but it is tickling me a little bit. Exploding. Nice. Okay, we got our, our next level. We can get one more level by the end of the night. We'll we'll have agility maxed out because we only have two more things we got to put points into. Okay, let's do a quick check here. I think he's dead, yeah, okay. Oh, we're out of shotgun shells. All right, time to switch to 7.62. I'm not actually gonna hit any loot bags until the end, so that way we can use eye candy. Okay, um, let's just check all this here, and then I'm going to take a peek outside again. I wonder if they're crawling up on each other's shoulders to get up there. Okay, so they're starting to come back up the path again. have the here let's uh switch these over here okay, modify uh take the muzzle brake off and put these two on okay is 
us a lot faster rate of fire. Well, he was a feral cop. Scary. That block's taking some damage there. That cop's gonna blow. Yeah, they're jumping up on top of each other. That's how they're getting up there. Nice. Got some XP on that one. Take a bite of food and some drink here. They really like to fixate on that little side right there. Okay, let's take this Adam Junkies. big group of them coming here. Let's get them all gathered up. Yeah, 4,000 4, XP out of that. 7,000. Almost got 4,000 XP on that one. All right. We got our second point. And let's just go here. This isn't necessarily going to help us right now uh, during the Horde Night, but from the shadows and whirlwind. And look at that, guys. We have completely maxed out agility. Yeah, yes. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Now we just need to get a really good set of military armor. Over 5,000 XP on that one. Very nice. Oh yeah, the doors are <laughs> really getting pounded. Oh, he's gonna blow. Tried to kill him, but then Marlene was coming for us. Let's check this door. Yeah, it needs a little attention. Okay, we have a little bit more time left on Adam Junkies. Let's keep using some more explosives here. Oh, we need to repair this guy. Whoa. Little lag spike there. Big group coming here. 
43 seconds left on Adam Junkies. Sixty-seven XP on that. Woo, nice. Hey, get out there. Sixty-seven hundred XP, that is. Sometimes you throw the pipe bombs and it seems like you didn't do any damage at all, but they're just so tough that it takes two of them to kill them. Um, I, I am eventually going to start getting uh, into grenades. In fact, we can do that right now. We just... I just got to get all the resources together for it. No blowing up, cop. Oh, he's blowing up. <laughs> Couldn't get to him. That door fixed. All right, let's see what's going on out here. Cut it out. You have no arms or legs left, though, dude. Tis but a scratch. I've had worse. Ooh, 10,867 XP. <laughs> nice. I love it. That was a big one. Um, just about out of pipe bombs here, but it's also almost morning too. Spiders, man. Okay, so it's morning, but uh, we're not done yet, of course. At least we won't get any, any new ones. So let's clean up the trash here. Oh man, they all fell off. All except for Spidey. Still a lot of zombies to kill, man. They took a tree down. <laughs> hey, I like that tree, man. That's my background. My background art. No, you don't, cop. No spitting allowed. Oh. I didn't realize he was ready to blow. Wait for a couple more of them to get up here. The reason I pause a little bit there is sometimes if I don't, they, they fall off the platform. 
Oh my goodness, we've used up all the 762. Okay, let's go back to here. And I want to pull that and that off of there. We'll put this back on. Let's pull this off for now. And we could. Uh, oh no, not that. Modify. There we go. We've got a lot more power with this weapon than that we do with the uh, AR because I don't. I only have one point into assault rifles. Whereas this is maxed. Look at that takedown power. But I want to save most of this ammo for when we're doing POIs. All right, we got our third point. Beautiful. This, this weapon just kicks the absolute shit out of these guys compared to what the AR was doing. So we need to we need to have a lot more nine mils for the next horde night and just use this gun. Stay down and stay down. Okay, just a few more to go. You know what though? Let's um, let's put the luckies on. How long does that last? Six minutes? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and take that now too, so I can loot these two bags. Wow, that's like the third purple fire axe I've found. Too bad it wasn't steel. I think we can go out now. Oh, look at you guys down there with your, your legs off. Oh, shit. Okay. Pick that thing up because it's driving me nuts. Let's see what we get here. Oh, we got a screamer. Where's she at? She's over on that tree. Okay. Look at all the bags down here. No, ma'am. You are not allowed to scream. Ooh, there we go. That's nice. Well, decent stuff, but nothing phantasmagorical. Except for the map. Alright, is that it? Nope, there's one right here. We got an herbal antibiotic out of the deal. Let's just read this right now. Jennifer's treasure map. Is this axe better than the one we have? It is not. Okay. How far away is that treasure meant? Not too bad. Almost in our backyard. All right. Well, Horde Night 28 is finally complete. And uh, that went pretty well overall. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know, <laughs> no freaking, how well this is gonna work on thirty-five. I mean, I think we can make it work, but the problem with this base is that there's too much of it that I can't 
uh, that I can't repair. I mean, look at the number they did on that block. Oh man, look at that too. They, they actually, wait a second. Yeah. They actually took out all of those blocks and those were steel too. Wow. Look at that. You guys look how damaged that block is. If they would have taken that one out, we would have come down again. Pro well, maybe probably. Hmm. Let's try something here. They were working on it. Wow, these were all steel through here, too. Nope, it would have held. <laughs> okay, it would have held. Wow. Yeah, see, the thing is, is... I can't repair the those blocks. Um, so I don't know if I don't know if we're gonna do this on on thirty five or if we're gonna have to come up with a new plan. It, it was a really really good base for you know the early horde nights, but we're these hordes are nasty and you know because our XP is three times, our hordes are actually a lot more intense than a normal horde would be on a you know. Like in this particular case on 28, that was more like a 35 or maybe even a 42 horde. So I'm going to have to give this some thought for sure. Um, the other thing that would have worked better for us is if I would have had a bunch of nine mil ammo instead of seven, six, two, because again, like I was saying, that's where our, our talent lies in the nine mil weapons. And we were shredding a lot faster with that than we were with the seven, six. We'll eventually, you know, get machine gun leveled up too. But um, right now, you know, nine mil is the star of the show. So just, you know, I'm just kind of taking some some out loud mental notes here for for next horde night. All right, before I let you guys go, let's just run over to Rex really quick and see what he's got in his inventory because um, I haven't checked it yet and he reset today. Or no, he actually reset yesterday, but I didn't get time to check it because I was busy getting the horde base ready. All right, does he have anything we want to immediately sell? Or do I have anything I should say? You know what I think I'm going to do is... How close are we to finishing Night Stalker? One book away. Or no, not Night Stalker. What? Uh, where's the one where the silencer no longer reduces your damage? Sniper, Spear Hunter, Urban Combat. Oh, it's Urban Combat. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. So if if we can max this out, you know, then the silencer is not reducing our damage at all. But you know, we're gonna just keep using the pistol for silent kills with AP ammo and we'll use this muzzle brake instead of the silencer on the MP MP5 or SMG. If we I mean how much difference are we talking about? So right now it does 76.7 69.2. Yeah, that's substantial. That's substantial. Okay, anyway, let's go in here. Got a little sidetrack there. Watch your back. Okay, let's see what he has. Watch yourself. Nothing we really want. I know some fellers who break legs for coin. I got quite a few sugar butts now. Well, not quite a few, but if well, let's buy it anyway. Oh. I don't have my money with me. We can um, sell this though. All that damn gawking at goods, and that's all you buy? That's all you buy? Okay. All right, guys. So, um, next episode, we are going to go. Oh, shit. All right. Well, let's get a little more XP.
There we go. Uh, all right. So in the next episode, we'll go hit that treasure map, and we're gonna we're gonna go to Trader Bob in the wasteland and Trader Jen in the desert, um, and see if they possibly have the motorcycle parts the, or the dirt bike parts. We got the dirt bike chassis. We just need the parts, uh, and it might even behoove us to travel all the way to Trader Bob over here too, because I, I think the Trader Bobs are the ones that are going to have the best chance of having those parts because you know, they're the, they're the uh, vehicle dudes. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just do a round trip. We'll hit the treasure. We'll go see this Trader Bob. We'll go see Trader Jin and then we'll, uh, oh, and actually we'll see Trader Joel. We'll just make the whole circuit um, in the next episode. So that is the plan. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.